what up youtube i'm back so i didn't do a review for boku no hero academia in two weeks because of school and kobe died last week so i take i took a break but i'm back and you know boku no hero academia right now is pretty average after that arc and the arc with overhaul was good i thought it could have been better but it was really good but now the arc that is coming it doesn't seem like it's going to be that great you know i didn't really like the new opening and the last two episodes or last three episodes were average you know so anyway let's get right to it so obviously todoroki and bakugo are doing their provisional exam test or uh, you know uh, class or something like that and it's a little bit interesting i guess but we were introduced to and last week's episode to the real kami you know uh, her quirk is glamour and she can create illusion for a short period period of time so that was quite interesting that we were introduced to the real kami because obviously in the last season it was uh, i think imiko toga that uh, transformed into her and took her place into the provisional exam for the hero's license you know so it was quite interesting to see obviously her personality is way different you know it's kind of you know los angeles girl that you know only cares about herself or you know uh, i don't know when but she's way different and there's something that uh, the commenter said when when he was explaining her quirk he said that it was forbidden or something like that <laughs> to use it a lot so that was quite interesting it was kind of cool too to see endeavor and all might watching you know todoroki uh, bakugo and the others doing their exams you know that was pretty cool but something that you know i didn't really care about was them being kind to children obviously that's gonna be great for bakugo because he doesn't really like people like that but you know seeing the children at the beginning fight against you know inspiring heroes uh, it, it was it wasn't a, a thing for me you know i really didn't like it like that like i said the three la the two last episodes i should say was underwhelming you know so I really didn't care about that but the thing that I cared about the most was Todoroki and Endeavor's relationship. So since Todoroki fought uh, Midoriya at the sports festival he's uh, started to change you know because of Midoriya's word he made up he make up with his mom he's a uh, he's way more you know gentle he's not as rude or as evil as he was before so he started changing and now it seems like Endeavor is starting to change, starting to change too, you know. So that's really, really interesting. It, it seems like he wants to be a better father. He wants to be a better person, you know. So I really want to know where Endeavor's arc is gonna be because he wants to change for obviously Todoroki, you know. Um, and we saw, you know, their conversation in the episode. Todoroki really didn't want him want to talk with him you know so that's gonna be interesting to see how their relationship grows and how endeavor and todoroki grows you know personally you know so that's gonna be pretty cool and then at the end of the episode i think i don't remember exactly because i watched it this morning and now we're in the, the afternoon so uh there was uh the uh, you know um <laughs> sorry there was the funerals for uh night eyes so that's good that's uh, pretty cool you know we saw some screenshots we didn't see people talk but we saw birio we saw some of uh night high sidekicks you know that are going to be working at his uh facility you know so uh that's good that's pretty cool but yeah man um I didn't think that we would lose Night Eye this quickly in the story, but we did. So I think maybe that's the first really death that we've seen in the show. Except, you know, obviously Nana Shimura, uh, All Might's Master. We saw it in the OVA, OVA, I guess. But yeah, man, that was that was a pretty cool scene. I really liked it. And then we also saw Eri woke up, you know, and she can't really obviously use her quirk really well so 
Um, I don't think we'll see Mirio with his quirk uh, anytime soon because he said that maybe when she gets c control of her quirk, he'll be able to become a hero again, you know, so that's going to be cool. We all know that Naitai with his quirk before he died, he told that Mirio was going to become a fine hero, so obviously we didn't see the images, they, they did that on purpose, but it seems like Mirio will get his quirk back at some point, you know, and um, I can't wait for that because he's one of the best characters in the show and there was also Midoriya talking to Mirio he wanted to give his quirk to Mirio and you know I knew that he that something like that would happen uh, it was pretty simple you know there's a lot of that in other stories but uh, you know I don't know if Mirio because of that knows that Midoriya can give his quirk to him but you know, I think it, it could be interesting, you know, to see in the future if Mirio, uh, you know, understands that uh, Deku has that kind of quirk. But yeah, man, it was an okay episode. Um, I don't think that the rest of the season is going to be hype as the first half, but we'll see. I've heard from people and from some of my friends that reads the manga that from now on, the Boku no Hero Academy series goes downhill from now so uh, I don't know what's uh, what's gonna be up, up for us in the anime but hopefully it's gonna be good you know because it's a great series and it's not my favorite anime series but it's it's a good series you know so I really want it to uh, you know be good and uh, before I end the review there's also the Boku no Hero Academy uh, movie I don't I think it's called Heroes Rising. I, I might go watch it. Uh, but yeah man, let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below. Let me know what you think is gonna happen next. I do Boku no Hero Academy reviews every Saturday, so subscribe for that. But I also do other anime related things like Black Clover reviews on Tuesdays, High Q reviews on Fridays, like I said, Boku no Hero Academy reviews on Saturdays, usually Saturday morning, and then I do One Piece reviews uh, on Saturday night. So stay tuned for all of that. And I'm still thinking of doing both on Auto Next Generation reviews because they're adapting the manga, I think. So we'll see. But uh, follow me at Anime Specialist on Twitter and Instagram and like and subscribe and help my channel a lot man. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.